Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be heading to a flea market looking for Pokemon cards. I have no idea if they're going to have legit stuff, if it's going to be fake, or if they're going to have any Pokemon cards at all. But let's give it a shot and see what we can find. Any Pokemon cards? Huh? Pokemon cards? Over here. First stop and we have Pokemon cards. These don't look legit though. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant Stars Mini Tin. Uh... Wow, okay. You can tell right away how the cut on the top on these. Wait, these ones are actually legit. These ones are definitely not legit. How much were these ones each? One dollar each. One dollar each on those. Can you do all this for 20? No. No? Let's say this. This is 14 dollars. 14? This is 14 dollars. Yeah. This is 12 dollars for you. 26, so give me 25. 25? Okay. Okay, let's do 25. 25, okay. Literally the first table when I walked in had that. I think those two packs are definitely legit, but it's, that's, she was charging like legit prices for the legit packs and then $1 for the fake pack. So she definitely knew. But uh, we'll check that out when we get back and see what else they have here. Oh, and real quick, future me here. I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away every single card that I pull in today's video. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section let me know if you think we're gonna get some good stuff today super nintendo nintendo 64 oh here we go all right we got some cards we got some cards let's kind of go through these oh these are fake that's fake 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 more fake uh legit legit one legit card so far um yeah no these are all fake for the most part. Fake, 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 fake. Got some video games. Oh, looks like it's been picked through. Yep. I used to love this game as a kid though. Oh, oh, oh. Chilling rain. Fake pack. Are you looking for Pokemon cards? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just looking around for Pokemon cards, video games. You probably don't know if this, these are working, do you? He guarantees them, he doesn't check them. Okay, all right. Thank you. We got some more Pokemon, but these are definitely fake. So we already grabbed a couple fake packs. We're gonna pass on those. Ended up getting here a little bit later than we should have. I mean, they're closing in like 30 minutes, but I was able to grab some stuff. So I know one more place that we could head over to. All right, so this is like an indoor collectibles flea market, I guess. We're gonna check out and see what they got in here. It should be some pretty cool stuff though. So we do have some cool arts here. Some old school video games too. Yes. All right, but let's see what we can find. So these are cool. They're kind of like set up like their own little stores. So like each has like a theme here. So if you look behind me, like this has like its own theme. And I guess these are all individually. I don't know if there's like individual sellers or if this is just the whole store just has random stuff everywhere, but it's really cool. Like, uh, I'm just gonna take a look and see if we can find anything Pokemon related, but I'm not gonna lie, I might pick up some old school video game stuff. Okay, so you really have to look closely because they set it up as if you're kind of just like browsing somebody's house or something. Like, you never know what you'll find. And literally, as I was saying that, there's, dude, these are actually old. Yo, these are kind of cool. These are old. Oh, they're probably all empty though, right? Oh, they're probably gonna be empty. Dang, these are, yeah, these are old. Like, I don't know. If we can maybe find one that's sealed, I doubt it. But like, these are Hark Old Soul Silver Air. We have actually the Suicune, Entei, and the Raikou in there. Yeah, there's some cool ones. I mean, I personally probably wouldn't pick these up because I don't really have anything I could do with them, but there's some old open tins. If you guys ever open up tins, like old school ones, they're still worth like a little chunk of change. Okay, I definitely see a bunch of collectible cards and stuff in here. Uh, it kind of makes it more difficult because you actually have to like look through everything really closely to see if there's something hidden. Um, but I see a bunch of sports packs. So I'm gonna pass on those and we keep looking. I definitely saw some Pokemon, there it is. Okay, ooh, okay, so base set two. So there's Pokemon here at least, but the question is, what are we gonna find in here? So I'm seeing just a bunch of non-hollow uh, bulk, but it is Wizard of the Coast stuff. So I think we're on the right track. I just, I feel like I'm gonna pass stuff. That's the problem. I feel like I'm gonna just like accidentally pass over something that's kind of cool. But yeah, we have like some of this stuff in here. And then there's like this thing. Is this spin? No, it doesn't spin, but there's stuff on the other side. You just like pick it up, but there's, <laughs> there's a random Charmeleon in there. There's some Pocahontas cards. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? A Squirtle randomly is in there too. Is there anything over there that I can't see? It's kind of cool. These are old school McDonald's toys. They're sealed Hercules. All right, there's this huge glass displays. I feel like if we were gonna find anything, it would be locked up maybe, like the, I guess the good stuff, but like up top here, there's a bunch of sports stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna pass on that. I'm just not really interested, but um, there's some Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, it's still like similar 
checked off, like, you know, like non hollow. Yeah, you uh, want to check though, like the, the war turtle back there, see if it's like an error evolution one. It's not, it's pretty, pretty basic stuff here. So I mean, I'm gonna pass on all that. This actually says Charmander is rare, but it's just a base set unlimited Charmander. <laughs> yeah, these are kind of cool old school tech decks. Um, what else? Oh, okay, there's more of sealed packs down here too. Uh, yeah, no Pokemon, but that's kind of cool. Power Rangers and a bunch of other random stuff. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yo, look at this. Brad's Toy Room. Oh my God. Okay, this is probably where we want to be right now. Just look through all this stuff. Dude, so many sealed toys. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon! We found sealed Pokemon. Six dollars. That's the same price as they had at the other flea market, but these are definitely legit. But no, what are these? There's something in here. Um, these are definitely not looking too legit, but there's definitely something in these. I feel like I need to pick up some of those. Old McDonald's toys. We got baseball packs in here. We got more baseball. We got some Batman superhero stuff on the bottom. Wait, wait, wait. I think I had these as a kid. Is this like the one where the head flips? Oh my God, it does. I think I need to grab some of these. I'm like 99% sure these are the exact ones um, that I had as a kid, I think. I could be wrong though. These could just be like a knockoff version. I mean, it says Bandai on the back. I don't know. I think I'm gonna grab these too. Wait, this is what I'm talking about. I literally didn't even see these behind there. Okay, so we actually have a Pikachu V-Box back here. Ooh, okay, that's $28 though. And then there's also the Glaceon V-Star box. That one's $33. Okay, maybe we just grab the Pikachu V-Box. And I'm way too curious. I need to see what's uh, in these things. So I'm gonna just grab two, I guess, of these random Pokeball things and see what we got. This place is huge. There's no air conditioning. I'm dying right now, but I'm having so much fun. Like, even if I don't find that much cool stuff, I'm just having fun going through here. Like, this is basically just a huge warehouse. Like, look. Are you ready? It's huge. It's just a giant warehouse. So many aisles. But yo, like, each store is just set up in such a cool way. Like, you just, look at that. Yo, the, oh, that's so cool. Um, it's just set up in a way where, like, you don't know what you're gonna find. Like, I literally don't know what I'm gonna find. Like, what is that? What is that? Yo, is it a giant Simpsons Pez? Oh, I was about to grab on 140 bucks. I, I think I got a pass. I think I got a pass on that price. Oh, these are vintage, though. That says 2003. I'm gonna assume these are almost 20, yeah, 20 years just about so i guess the pez might taste a little weird all right so we got a bunch of stuff from these two different places let's bring it back to the poker cave and see what we can pull back in the poker cave i already gave my kids the power ranger toys there was no shot that they were going to make it any further than the front door do you guys like these power rangers yeah all right but let's start with the first stop of the day and that's when we picked up all those like pokemon cards some of them were fake and some of them I'm pretty sure were legit, but we can see it up close now. So the first thing we have is this Evolving Skies um, tin. It looks like it has the official Nintendo seal. Nintendo logo on there. Dang, okay, they're really trying to make it look like it's an official Nintendo thing. It even has like the Pokeball like stamps on here. I mean, this is 100% fake product, but it'll be interesting to see what's actually in here. Honestly, the design is kind of cool. All right, so let's see. There's like this random card on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad quality. <laughs> that's pretty bad. It's not too good. But we have an Indeedy V. Now the big question is, what the heck is in this thing? I'm gonna assume there's just a bunch of fake packs, maybe, or is it just cards? I don't know. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. There are cards on the top part. Let's let's get these out of here. Okay. Um, is it all cards? So they're okay. Yeah. There's no packs in here. There's card. That one's facing the other way. Okay. Let's, um, <laughs> Arctivish V, so that's clearly fake card. Garbodor V Max, uh, upside down Litleo. Um, oh, <laughs> there's the Rayquaza alternate artwork. That's not supposed to be like that. That's, yeah, these are like glossy too. We can maybe rip these. And yeah, so there's no ink in here. That's what you want to look for. You want to make sure there's ink. If there's no ink that you could see, then it's definitely 100% fake. But these, a lot of people might be able to tell just by looking at them. You can't get these full art cards and VMAXs without, like, the actual texture that's supposed to be on them, which is not on here. But, yeah, okay, these are definitely not as interesting as I thought they would be. I was thinking there was going to be some packs in there. That's a cool card, but it's definitely uh, very fake. I mean, look, so fake. That is beyond fake. They're not supposed to do that at all. I mean, like, yeah, this is definitely 100% not legit. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Okay, so these, right? These are legit packs. I mean, unless they're like the best fakes I've ever seen. 
Okay, I'll say like 99% sure these are legit packs. So we'll open these up because they even charged more for these. These were like, they were charging like $6 on each of these. And then like the other packs were a dollar. Like, yeah, you can have these ones for a dollar. So the Astral Radiance and then Chilling Rain and then like a quick little thing here. I guess these are pretty similar packs. Um, Astral Rain and Brilliant Stars have the same style. But you can see like, right, I mean, a dead giveaway is going to be like how there's little sort of like cuts like that. It looks like those weird scissors you had back in the day that had like the little jagged edges. That's not good. That's definitely fake. Feels fake. Looks fake. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of different things you could see on it if we looked up close at it. So let's open these up first. Um, maybe we'll start with the Astral Radiance booster pack. So these are probably going to open up really weird. Already with upside down stuff in here is not a good sign. So we have an upside down Scyther. I guess I'll flip it over. Uh, but you can see, like, you see, like, the how the, the light's, like, popping off of that? That's no good. That means it's fake. Um, okay. Random stuff. Togepi and just Cleavor V in there. And, like, we can rip this one. It should kind of rip weird. See that? It's, like, kind of like it's just on top of it. And then there's no ink and stuff like that in there. Okay, this is not exactly how I expected the, my day to go. I wasn't even planning on filming this video. I just had, like, a weird idea. I was at the gym. And I was leaving the gym. And I was, like, I don't know how it even came to mind. Something I was, like, maybe we should go to a flea market. And, um, like, I haven't been to a flea market in forever. So I had no idea if we were even going to find anything. Articuno V, Gardevoir. Caitlin, and yeah, there's like no texture on these. You guys probably already know that. And then I had one more thing from the first stop was this the same same idea as Brilliant Stars. It has the same sort of like tin thing going on with like official seal or whatever, but I guess we'll crack this really quickly. I'm gonna assume this is the same thing, but I essentially paid like, I guess, cause the other packs were $6 each, um, but here's a Greninja V. So I must have spent like 15 bucks on fake cards or something like that, but. It is what it is. This is alright, just kinda of check it out. At least maybe it'll just help somebody from like accidentally purchasing these if you're able to see it on this channel. We got Jolteon VMAX. I mean, yeah, just super fake stuff here. And it's all I mean it's all over the place. I won't waste too much of your guys' time here because oh, that's kinda cool, but it's just like so low res. It literally looks like they took the photo online and then they just printed it out, like onto the card. Um, but yeah, I mean it's just all all fake, obviously. These should be legit. These should be legit. I'm just a little sketched because they were at the same place as all the fakes were. But she kind of had them separate, so... I'm gonna open these. If we got, like, a crazy pull from a flea market, that would be nuts. Okay, so we're gonna take the code card out. I'm not gonna look at the code card color. We'll do four from the back. So far, it seems fine. There's a code card in there. Um, everything seems to be in order correctly. Cards look good. Yeah, okay, so these are legit cards. These are actually legit. Um, now... The question is, can we get a hit, though? Jigglypuff, yeah, Durant, looks good. Minin, Baltoy, Corviknight, and a Kangaskhan non-hollow. I'm sorry, Kangaskhan, but I'm just going to show you guys. We'll do the rip test, and there it is. So you can see right there, there's actually the black ink. And then, like, here was one of those fake cards. Uh, right there, you can see there's no ink on the inside there. All right, now this next pack is going to be Brilliant Stars, another one that should be totally fine. Um, I mean, as long as it's, like, not resealed or something, I don't think. I mean, nah. Looks fine. All right, let's just look at the code card and see what color it is. Mm, that mean, well, uh, there could be something in the reverse slot actually because it is Astral Radiance, so. Oh wait, was it Brilliant Stars? Dude, I can't even, what was it? What am I opening? Wait, what was that? Uh, oh, it was Brilliant Stars, okay, yeah. Brilliant Stars, I don't know what I'm talking about. They, the pack art looks similar to, from Brilliant Stars and um, Astral Radiance, okay. Uh, Mewtwo in the reverse, it's a rare reverse. Oh, two Mewtwo. All right, next up is the antique mall that we went to. That was a really cool spot, honestly, to just kind of go through and browse. You never know what you can find there. Um, oh, these were like $4 each. Definitely probably expensive, to, and I'm assuming these are also fake. All right, let's start with this one. I, I, I just hear something in there, but I have no idea what it could be. So let's check it out. What is that? Is that like a... Dude, that is a bootleg Clefairy if I've ever seen one. That's like hot neon pink, dude. What is that? Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, well, what do you expect, right? That and then, um, I guess these are stickers? Yeah, I'm just going to assume these are stick stickers. Okay, so just like a couple of random Pokemon. That for $4. Okay. All right, I guess we got to see what's in this next one too, though. I'm going to assume the same idea. Maybe a different Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, that's <laughs> interesting. So, yeah, we got some interesting stuff in these. Um, not exactly what I expected, but, I mean, what you know, what else do you think is going to be in these things, realistically? Um, and then just a couple of Pokemon. All right, but there was one other legit product here. We got the Pikachu V-Box here. We spent $28 on it. Yeah, so these go for around $16. I just checked online. So we paid $28. We definitely overpaid for this thing by quite a bit. But, 
Um, honestly, it was just kind of cool to find something in there, and you know, we're just kind of opening up stuff, having fun, and just going through it. I didn't, I couldn't check prices because I film with my phone. Like, I literally just use my iPhone, um, so I didn't want to stop recording. All right, I don't know if this is considered like a flea market find. I guess it's an antique store thingy. I don't, I don't know, but we did find something, and uh, we got these Pikachu cards here, and we got four, four packs. Okay, let's see if we can get something good today. Brilliant stars, fusion strike, brilliant stars, and another fusion strike. Let's start, let's just go left to right. So we'll start off with the Fusion Strike here, see if we get something. Um, the two packs that we got from the Flea Market that were legit were no good. I don't think there's gonna be anything in this one either. We got a bad code card there. All right, we'll go right through this Onyx and then a non hollow That was a lot of work for <laughs> if we don't get a single hit today. That is, that is a lot of work. That was like a lot of driving and stuff. Okay, no, I have faith though, I have faith. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. There has to be. Either way, it's, it's fun to kind of go out there and explore and see if you can find some cool Pokemon stuff. I had fun either way. Okay, we got an Agra VMAX. We at least got something. I right, have one hit so far. Can we get another hit? Oh, uh, the, the code card is facing that way, so we'll go straight through that one. Fusion Strikes were no good for us today. Nothing. Vickavolt. And the last pack, Brilliant Stars. Can we get one nice hit to make it all worth it? Let's find out. I don't even want to look at the code card color. Uh, we got a V-Star marker there, so we'll go four from the back. All right, V-Star marker, Cinchino. Whoop, passed one. I think I, I think I might have pulled two out. <laughs> Farfetch'd. Execute. Grimer. Execute again. Oh, uh, dust nor regular hollow. All right, guys, but that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. Also, feel free to click on one of the two videos top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.